are we the yet? Hilton, I know exactly where I'm going, so don't rush me. Wait, why is the boat not moving? Damn it, I forgot to refuel the boat again. What? Since when do people ever refuel boats in Minecraft? That's so stupid. Look, I don't know what to do. All right, my boat is not working, and we're stuck in the middle of the ocean. Then where is the gas station? Good evening everybody, it's 8 o'clock, and today is Saturday, Minecast is back, new season, new studio, yes, I'm sure you all already heard this, but we have just got ourselves a brand new studio, which is something we have been planning for a while, what do you think of the new studio? Wow, it looks improved, it's much better than the last one. Yeah, this is the biggest studio we've ever had, way bigger than the old MCNGC studio. I mean, look at this desk. It's really long. Yeah, we can use this for a special dinner for our customers and have a toast. But anyway, before we get into our topics or requests, let's take a look around the new studio. So this is the entrance to the Milton Studios in Budapa. Inside is the hallway, which looks a lot smaller than before. And this right here is our receptionist, who we can't remember what her name is. But you can ask whatever question you want. For example, you can ask her this. Hey lady, your father just won the roasting competition. Hey. Just kidding. Next up is the green room, which is what Minecraft News Gone Crazy used to have. It looks pretty small, but who cares? This is where our interviewees wait to be interviewed. And speaking of interviews, we have a new interview couch that we just implemented. This is where I sit down and interview with the guests. Previously, we used to conduct interviews in the main studio, but we changed how interviews work. So, that's a pretty nice change. This is the balcony, where we sometimes go outside and breathe some fresh air while the commercial break is on. And this, right here, is the sports news studio. It's weird that it is located outside and not on the inside, but that's the best thing that Frank could do. Remember, if you want to request any sports related topics, I'll be happy to answer them for you. We have a lot of editing rooms in this studio, and this is one of them. Hey, why are we stuck here? Please get us out of here. Sorry guys, I think you'll be here for a long time. This is the other editor's room. As you can see, Duncan and Kristen are carefully watching the events unfolding here. Oh wow, what a close up. But anyway, this is the last room we'll be showing you on this tour. But, how would these guys get out of here? You may wonder. The elevator. Yes, we have an elevator in this studio because we can't always let anyone get trapped. Anyway, now that we showed you pretty much everything, let's get into the main topics for today. Man, this will be fun. Anyway, the Discord requests will be our first phase for tonight. Batman, 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 today is the World of the Day President of Jitsu to Saito Oh come on, we didn't even get to the first request and then this happens? What the hell is up with this Riverside shitpost anyway? I'm sorry for my swearing, but bruh. Anyway, for real this time, let's get into the first request. New cereal launches on Minecraft Shear. Oh boy. I wonder what this new cereal is called? You'll find out in the commercials. But we already just started the video you- Coming from a local store near you is the newest cereal that promises to energize your mornings. Introducing Creeper O's, the newest cereal to hit the market. This cereal is so good that it would blow your mouth up each time you take a bite. I didn't mean it literally. Creeper O's, the most explosive cereal ever made. Literally. Bite now from your local store. Ah! Ah! 
got bitten by a mosquito again? Don't worry, I'm here to help. The anti-mosquito medicine, which comes in two different versions. You can use this on yourself or someone else to prevent being bitten by mosquitoes. Then, you can sleep peacefully again. I did not say sing in your sleep, the anti-mosquito medicine, from Zuriki. Zuriki from Messi. Okay seriously, why do we always have to advertise the same thing in a Hello Zuriki commercial? Can we at least just advertise something other than medicine? No. Well, wow, that was the earliest time in a Minecast episode that a commercial break occurred. Yeah, but anyway, welcome back to the second season premiere of the podcast. We have loads of requests to deal with, so let's just not ramble enough and see what we got next. No comment, a lightning strike hits the old Minecast studio. Wait, I forgot that Travis already blew up the old studio. So for this once we are forfeiting that request. Apologies. Oh, never mind then. Anyway, travel guide, Football City. Today, we visited yet another special place in Minecraftia. This time, it's all about football. Football City was founded in July 2014 by a man who claimed to be the secret cousin of Lionel Messi. The small stadium is located here, downtown. Um, why are you pointing that camera at me like that? And apparently there is a pub where the pub owner got so drunk that he started smashing every single bottle. Dude, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Wow, this looks pretty nice. May I join and play? Sorry, we don't accept furry animals as football players. Just screaming? Later the night, the match between FC FC and Budapa is taking place. And now, please rise for our national anthem. What the hell did I just listen to? Ugh, come on. Pass me the ball. After hours of playing, FC FC managed to beat the Budapur Football Club with seven goals. But it gets worse from there. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? We're being attacked. Seriously, why does this happen every single time in a travel guide? I mean, what if the whole city gets blown up in a huge explosion? I told you so. Uh, let's move on. Anyway, the next request says... Um, yeah, you get the idea. Mom, my PC crashed. Wait a minute, that didn't even look like Nestville, it was just another village. Oops, sorry witches. You got the wrong place. Anyway, let's move on to the YouTube phase now. Zombie apocalypse with dream. YouTuber, nah, 
We'd rather not do that report with him. Dream is overrated and annoying. Oh my god. How dare you insult one of my favorite YouTubers like that. Include him right now or I'll get away from me you tall bastard. Next request. No comment. The anti-swearing protester puts soap of the sins and loves actors on their mouth. Hey, what's going on? It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Oh man, that's the third time we got to encounter this protester. Bro, what kind of problem do you have this time? The same problem as every goddamn time. You still refuse to drop the Mafia storylines on your G4PTV Minecraft serials. Really? You're still complaining about that? Of course I am, and I won't give up until G4PTV accepts my demands. In your dreams, more. Don't talk back to me like that and listen to what I'm going to say. G4PTV has really gone way too far this time, and I'll tell you why. It's because in Sings and Loves episode 44, you included a scene in which Caitlin and her son Sammy are both killed. I mean, what the bloody hell were you thinking? Having a mother murdered along with her baby child? What happened is a completely unacceptable act, and I want that video to be age-restricted over it. Hold on there for just a moment. G4PTV has a rating system for its shows. For example, if Sins and Loves features themes like moderate to high language, violence, or other stuff, it is rated PG-13. But that's not enough. It should have been age-restricted, but Norman is not giving any shits whatsoever. This is your last chance, and I really do mean it this time. Drop the bloody Mafia storylines, or I'm going to- I'm sorry I had to do that, but Joshua Cad has been banned from this channel due to giving out excessive criticisms, and forcing Norman into things he doesn't want to do. I know we're probably gonna get cancelled for that, but we had no choice. He tried to manipulate Norman into dropping the Mafia storylines, so he got what he deserved. Wait, so was this the exact protester that's been menacing us the whole time? I thought it was one of those generic protesters. Nah, never mind that. He's not gonna whine about anything for sure. Anyway, let's continue. Another zombie apocalypse with Frank, but with a severe thunderstorm. Gee, this looks pretty tricky, especially when there's a storm roaming around. Hi there, the weather is absolutely crazy right now, it's raining, it's lightning, and, well, that's all it is to it. Gee, what more could we want? <laughs> ah, the usual. <laughs> Who the heck are these guys? I swear I never seen them before. Are you spying on me, brother? Prepare to die. Nope, not this time. Harry, it's time to tell you to Stop calling me Harry Potter. <laughs> what is up with the auto tune? Why are you guys forcing me to report this? Dude, what the hell happened to that street light? Why is it floating like that? That's magical. Oh, okay, that was really loud. Wait. Did I just kill someone? It is time to lock you to prison. Well, crap. I'm trapped in this stupid underground prison. I could have at least eaten some chicken to recover, but I got too busy fighting off those zombies. I wish there was a way out of here. Wait, I hope no matter where you go, you remember your friends right here in bright- Oh! Mally McGee, is that you? No, it's just Chuck Testa. Oh my god. Chuck Testa, get me out of here right now. Sorry kid, I'm afraid I can't do that. 
You belong in Sir Gotarja now. Oh, are you sick? And, here we are again, Frank once again fell into the clutches of the Union of Sargitogen, but at least the task is which didn't ruin it this time. Actually, they did get summoned into Frank's cell by Chuck Testa. God damn it Chuck Testa. Anyway, Discord just got banned in Turkey and Russia. What? Now Turkey banned Discord too? First it was Roblox, then Instagram, and now this. What's next? Facebook. Oh well, let's just move on. Did Travis Walls die after you blow up downtown light mesh? Of course I'm not dead, you idiots. I'm still alive. Not for long. Wow. Look. A pig. Let's roast him. H M M M M M M M M M M. Oh yes. Bacon time. Alright, now's not the time to eat bacon. We got a couple of more requests to deal with. Anyway, no comment. The tsunami in Losculum. Um, okay. What the hell happened there? I don't know. That tower isn't supposed to be generated right in the middle of the village. Let's just move on. Damn it. The waters are not strong enough. I guess Michael Bay failed to pay his bills on the visual effects. God darn it, Michael Bay. Well, that was nothing. Anyway, travel guide, Birmingham. Oh my bloody god, if you dare bring up one more travel guide request about a real life place, I will ban you from requesting for the rest of your life. How dare you say that? Get out of here. Well guys, I think we give up for today. The episode is over. And I think that's all the requests we have read tonight. But don't worry, we'll be no back next time with a new episode, and more requests. By the way, let us know in the comments what you think about our new studio. I think it looks much better. Alright, I'll see you soon everyone. Goodbye. This video was part of G for PTV's Super Saturdays. Super Saturdays, the perfect way to kick off the weekend.